serving Miss Hannah Berger. I'm a student at Pine Lake Preparatory, and my green business idea is called Bloom Green. Now, in our everyday lives, there are constant health risks hanging over our well-being. Cities are becoming more congested, and environmental pollutants are becoming more present. We need to add some greenery into the world that we are exposed to for almost 80% of our day. That is, the indoor world. Bloom Green is a business that installs the innovative aquaponic biowall systems for schools and provides educational opportunities for the participants. A biowall is a living, growing wall of plants. Biowalls have so many benefits that can help with the issues that I just mentioned. Very briefly, here are a couple of the benefits. Biowalls can help filter out gas contaminants in the air. These gases cause negative symptoms such as fatigue, absenteeism, headaches, dry throat or nose, and many more. Microbes in the root of the plants absorb these gases, break them down, and convert them into carbon dioxide and water to be used in the photosynthesis process. Also, the evaporation of water and transpiration of the plants can increase the humidity in the indoor space by three to five percent. Biowalls are also very aesthetically pleasing and can help the productivity of the people exposed to the lively plants. And of course, the plants absorb the greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide, and produce fresh, breathable oxygen. Now, to talk about aquaponics. Aquaponics is a sustainable and clean way to grow plants. In aquaponics systems, water from fish tanks is pumped up into a bed of plants. Now these plants are held in a flotation device with holes in them so the roots are submerged into the water. The waste from the fish naturally provide nitrates and nutrients that are essential for the plant growth without the use of soil, fertilizers, or pesticides. Now here's where the innovation lies in Bloom Green. We've merged the two environmentally friendly systems to make an aquaponic bio. We would use the tactics used in aquaponics, but utilize them to construct a bio wall. So the plants grown on the wall are grown in a sustainable way. Here's a prototype I built alongside with my mentor teacher. And as you can see, the water from the aquarium is being pumped up through the pipe and into the top growing medium. This is where the plants will absorb the nitrates and nutrients from the water from the fish tank allowing the plants to grow. The water then flows through each growing medium and then back into the aquarium. And the trickling effect kind of adds to the aesthetically pleasing element of the aquaponic bio wall. In each growing medium, I've put in plants of different growth stages. In the top growing medium, we have fully grown herbs and a bamboo plant. In the middle one, we have seeds of different herbs that will eventually grow. And in the bottom one, we have seedlings and seeds of different herbs. Now, in the construction of this prototype, I used a piece of scrap wood as the wall, and I also added a light to hit each growing medium to help with the plant's growth. Now for the flotation device, I used scrap recycled leftover pieces of a foam mat and place them together so that it'll flow on top of the water but have holes for the plants. And then I use a foot stocking as the reservoir for the roots. Now you can see the flotation device now that it's all put together with the leftover pieces, the foam mat, and the foot stockings. Bloom Green will install these systems in school to provide a hands-on learning resource for science classes. The aquaponic firewall is a live and in-person replica of the nitrogen cycle, so it can act as a perfect learning tool. It can also be used to teach students about photosynthesis, how to harvest and maintain crops, and which plants thrive in certain conditions. Bloom Green will also provide optional workshops that the school can pay for to further utilize the educational purposes of the aquaponic bio. Here's a 
summary of the workshops. There is the Bloom the Biolaw workshop for $300, the Gain Green Knowledge workshop for $150, and the Pick the Produce workshop for $150. The targeted market for Bloom Green is elementary schools. We plan on primarily building aquaponic bio walls for elementary schools because elementary students need a more hands-on way to learn and the younger children typically get a better experience from these activities and look forward to them more. Also, it is good to plant the seeds of knowledge to build a strong foundation and passion about the environment and being sustainable in the younger students so they can grow up to be a more sustainable generation. Bloom Green's competition includes science-related field trip venues since they are also a hands-on way to learn. Bloom Green provides hands-on learning for students. Science field trips do as well. Bloom Green allows students to engage in environmental processes and witness them firsthand. Field trips do as well. And Bloom Green is always accessible by classes. This is where school field trips fall short. Bloom Green is also convenient for schools and can be reused for future years. Field trips do not provide this. The workshops take place at school, eliminating the hassle and money to take students on a field trip. Also, our workshop prices are much more economical than field trips. Another competitor are BioWall installation companies. I use the company Furbish as a specific example. Both Bloom Green and BioWall installation companies install a BioWall and provide all the supplies needed to grow the plants. However, only Bloom Green uses a fish tank to grow the plants aquaponically and build the wall for educational purposes. It costs Bloom Green $7,297 for all the supplies and complete installation of the BioWall. The bio wall we sold for $8,000 and we will need to sell 33 walls and 33 workshops to begin to make a profit. After this, each wall will create $703 of profit in addition to the $150 to $300 profit on workshops. To get Bloom Green on its feet, it'll need some funding. Government agencies and health organizations are great sources of funds due to all the health and environmental benefits of the bio walls. Also, since Bloom Green is a green business, the government will provide subsidies. In conclusion, the aquaponic bio wall would be an academically engaging, healthy, and aesthetically pleasing and eco-friendly addition to schools. The participating schools allow the students to be a part of and witness environmental processes while students also develop a passion for keeping our earth green. Bloom Green helps students bloom into a green-minded generation while blooming more green and lively work areas. Thank you.